Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to control the modular synthesizer with muscle impulses from your body. These can be picked up with the ADAC 303 muscle sensing unit modules that connect to your body with the help of medical electrodes that you can stick to the surface of your skin. So basically, this works just like my prosthesis works. That my prosthesis is controlled by muscle signals that electrodes that are built into the prosthesis pick up from my residual limb that are then used to open and control the prosthesis. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen the adapter, the syn limb, that I built to pick up these signals from the prosthesis to send them to a synthesizer. Turns out you don't need a prosthesis for doing that. Everybody can do that with the help of these great modules. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to stick these electrodes that you can stick anywhere onto the surface of your body on the muscles where my prosthesis picks up the signals. So instead of having my prosthesis picking up those signals, I'll send the signals without the prosthesis directly into the modules. So I'll switch over the prosthesis and take it off. Because that looks a little weird. Okay, put it there. And now you can actually still see the marks somehow that the prosthesis left uh, where it picks up the signals. So now I have two regular medical grade EKG um, electrode pads and you need to stick them two next to each other right on top of the muscle. So just wherever you want to do this on your body, just feel through your skin and see where the muscle has kind of the peak, kind of the center of the muscle. And you need two electrodes just of the center of the muscle. So I'm peeling off the adhesive. And so this goes maybe here. Maybe here. All right, so they're just next to each other. Like that. And then you need a third one that's placed somewhere off the others uh, that will serve as the reference point. So like a ground electrode, so just stick that somewhere where it's not in touch with the muscle that you want to use, like this. And now you take the electrode cable that comes from the module that has three connectors, black, red and blue, you stick the red and the blue one to the electrodes that actually sit on the muscle and the black one, you guessed it, to the reference electrode. And then the rest is calibration work on the module. Let me show you how that works. So here you can see two ADAC 303 modules where I'm only going to use the left one for the time being and it's now connected to the electrodes that you just saw me sticking to my arm. The most tricky bit with this module is finding settings where it properly reads the electrode signal. Overall, the top bottom is the gain that controls the amplification of the electrode signal, but it's not that simple. Uh, this one is uh, the offset of the electrode signal. This is the threshold for the comparator that turns the CV that it takes from the muscle signal and turns it into a gate. And that gate, that's what they call the comparator and that's being uh, sent out here. And this is the CV out and this is the inverted CV out. Um, and here you have the ability to feed out the raw CV out or soften it with a bandpass filter slightly or uh, in a hard way. As I said, the most difficult part is finding settings of these two top buttons that result in the module picking up the electrode signal in a reliable way. When I first got the module, I always thought that if you crank this up fully, that it will give the strongest amplification of the electrode signal. Um, 
but it doesn't because at the moment I'm actually doing something with my arm and you see these two LEDs up here, they're supposed to visualize the input from the electrode and nothing is happening and I found this quite frustrating. And only after some time I realized that it you need to find a sweet spot on the basis of the combination of the offset and the gain where it will work. And I've had quite good experiences with turning the offset all the way up, relaxing the muscle, don't do anything, and then you turn the gain down until you see the top pair of the LED change like this. See? It now changes from left to right. That's the sweet spot that you need to find where it does this without you doing anything. And if you found this, just set it kind of somewhere ever so slightly that it's not blinking to the right one. And now if you flex the muscle, which is what I'm doing now, you should, you should be getting something like this. And because I'm not smoothing the signal, the switch is in the center position, um, it's the raw signal. So you can, actually, you can actually see it flickering a little bit and you will get that in the CV. And probably uh, we don't want that. So it's a little bit better to set this switch to the softening position. And, the, and this here is the threshold for this signal that you see here as CV that goes from left to right, basically being translated into a zero one kind of signal uh, that you can see down here. So this is kind of a gate signal on the basis of your electrode. And this is a CV signal on the basis of your electrode. So now that we got that to work, let's take the outputs and create something musical. So I'm taking the CV out and send that into the ADAC intuitive quantizer. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it starts blinking because it receives the pitch change. And we can now, of course, send that to the volt per octave of a voice. I have an elements here. Uh, and of course, we need a gate as well. And the way in which the intuitive quantizer is set up is if you don't feed it a gate, it will actually create a gate whenever it changes a node change. So like this. you can create music with a muscle signal. And of course you can use this for anything, for any kind of modulation in, uh, your, in your system. Combine it with something else. So for example, uh, if we take the gate from just a square L of O like this, you can change the melody without interfering with the rhythmical structure of whatever you're playing. And of course, if you do that with several electrodes, take a second with another of these modules, for example, uh, the possibilities are really, really endless. And of course, you can use that to modulate, I don't know, a filter cut of whatever. I mean, it's just CV that you basically control with flexing a muscle in your body without, without touching the synth, uh, which feels kind of weird, but it's the experience that I have uh, when I'm using the Synlimp to play the synth. So with this kind of setup, everyone can do it. And I think it's a great way to interface with the musical instrument that's quite different from how you would in a normal tactile way. So this opens up a lot of new artistic possibilities. I have another video on my channel where I use a setup like this in a large generative patch where I control two parameters with two ADAC 303 modules. I use one module for producing a gate signal that triggers one of the voices of the patch. And I use the other to affect the pitch of another voice that's playing more or less at random. So here I'm controlling the synth without touching it, just 
through muscle impulses with the ABAC 303 modules. And this is just so much fun. And maybe this is something that you would like to explore as well. As I said, this opens so many new fun possibilities. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.